It's time, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're here to talk about the also mighty Supreme and the North Face Cargo Collection collaboration dropping this Thursday at 11 a.m. Eastern and part of the Supreme Week 13 Spring Summer 2020 drop. And this is flawless. Almost, almost flawless from what I can tell right now. We're in a pretty good mood. We had a foot site restock of the Jordan 1 Game Royals just now, and that's why this video is going to be up a bit late. Uh, we did get a pair, 12 and a half so far, which is super rare size. And I think we are, well, we're still waiting on order confirmation, but we did get through on another 10, a uh, size 10 pair. So honestly, I'm grateful for that. Like, you know, we blessed, we blessed out here, luckily, because I know this restock was a mayhem on the Game Royal aspect, but we're talking about Supreme today. And we're going to run th through the entire collaboration in itself. I waited so long in part also, hoping that the full drop list would be out by now, but unfortunately it isn't. And from what I'm hearing from my guy, he's telling me it's only just lookbook pieces. So this video might get updated tomorrow, but today we're only going to talk about retail and resale price estimations of Supreme North Face Collection. Once again, week 13, uh, we're going to run through the full entire drop list of just the collection. Talk about my thoughts on it, what I think retail is going to be. Right now, I can't give a guaranteed retail price on it because, once again, my guy, he doesn't know anything either at the moment. But once again, we're going to put the full drop list, slide on over, and we're going to run through it all. But before I start, I'll let you guys know that... If you guys want that good luck, that good karma, that good blessing on this Thursday's drop, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button right down below. You hit the red box logo there. You'll hit the red box logo on drop day that says process and pay now, and you will... Touch the limited item of the Supreme North Face. Well, lately it hasn't been that limited, but hopefully this time it will be around. So let's go ahead and roll right into it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so here we go. Now, first up, we are going to talk about the Supreme North Face Sun Shield Camp Cap dropping in three different colorways. We got a black and a multi pink camo. That's the, that's a colorway. I'm going to name this uh, colorway of sorts dropping on every single item. Now, every single item from this collection will once again be dropping the same three different colorways. We got a black, a pink, multicolored camo, as well as a tan slash khaki. That khaki print sometimes does, I mean, that khaki colorway sometimes does hit really, really hard, and sometimes it does absolutely disgusting. For me, it reminds me, freshman year high school, wearing those khaki cargo joggers, and I honestly, to this day, regret ever putting those on my body. Um, but ayo, hey, it is what it is, because mine were looking all types of funky wonky on my body, and just didn't flow. It didn't flow. I didn't have no sense of style. It is what it is. We live, and we learn, and we conquer. I still don't have a sense of style, just an FYI. But you guys can see here three different colorways. Uh, what it is is basically a dad cap straight up, which I love. I didn't realize just now it is fully detachable. So at the end of the day, you could pretty much just take off that extra looking brim and just actually wear it. This is going to be a perfect gift though for I know someone special in my life. Definitely going to be copying this. And actually on the back of the bib is what I'm going to dub it. Uh, it does have the Supreme logo right there. The iconic Supreme TNF logo. That's a Supreme uh, textile font that they always use for all the TNF collaborations. On the front, you also have a Supreme box logo along with the North Face uh, logo. I think this hat is amazing. Absolutely 100%. I can see retail being around 78 to 68 US dollars. Just because the fact it does have an extra brim to it. Typically the flat brim hats go for around 48, 52 bucks. That's why I think it'll be around $78 once they do add in the extra cost of the bib and so on and so forth. But yeah, definitely a cool piece. I don't think I don't hate any piece from this collection to tell you the truth, besides maybe one, which is some bullshit accessory we'll get into right now. Is the floating keychain. Why do you need this? You really don't. Unless a chick is looking at your, like, I don't even understand why you want to flaunt with this, but it, nonetheless, it's cool. Don't get me wrong. It's a respect. If you like it, you like it. Uh, three different colorways. Once again, on this one, basically just a square keychain has North Face and Supreme on it, three different colorways, and they called it a day. Uh, they don't really do keychains like this. I remember the last few accessories they did was the Sulphur. Uh, remember when they did the Cordura collection? They had the wallet chain, the chain that like had like kind of like a wallet on it. No, yeah, the wall that had a chain on it, and they also had the compass. Like, that's the last cool accessories I remember from the Supreme TNF collab. This one, nonetheless, is pretty dope. I could see a retail being around maybe 14 bucks, the max. If it's any more than that, you're bugging if you're buying it. And please double card it. Don't buy it single-handedly and pay an extra $10 shipping. But once again, it is up to you how you want to rock. Uh, next up, the next accessory we have, more so of the bag, is the Adventure Tote. Once again, dropping the same three different colorways, a black... 
uh, multicolor and a khaki. And I'm looking at this closer. It looks like there's two bags in one, kind of. It looks like there's a tote bag that has no straps to it that's just buckled into the actual bag. Uh, I love it. I really do like this bag. I wish they did a backpack instead. They typically always do a backpack for every single collab most of the time. Unfortunately, this time they did not do a backpack. They did a regular tote bag. I can't do much of the tote bag. I don't rock with them. Um, maybe get loopy sometimes. You can put like two boxes in their max, but once again, not enough. And I'd rather have a backpack on my back than hold something all the time. But it does remind me of the RTG series. The fact that it has buckles on it looks a bit more tactical. That's what it reminds me of. And actually, on the back of the actual bag, you do have Supreme, once again, the classic font. So branding on this collection, I want to say is on point. It's absolutely exactly what we want to see. Uh, what the consumers want to see bag retail on this I could see going realistically around $98 just because it's a looks like a high quality bag looks like to be two and one has mesh lining on it has different colorways fire bag nonetheless uh, then we're going to go on to another one that tactical parts of this collection is the cargo vest uh, I've seen a lot of memes about this how you feel when you're rocking the vest what you really look like it is what it is oh uh, we have three different colorways we've got a multicolor pink camo a tan and the black uh, this one pockets you got to be rich you got to put money all up in the pockets put whatever narcotics baggies whatever you want to do but use the pockets don't have no flat pockets dropping on you it doesn't look right uh retail on this one i could see going around 148 us dollars unfortunately vests last time with the rtg collab were a hit but they sold them with a the jacket like a two-piece in one you couldn't buy them separately and then people ended up selling the vest separately selling the jacket separately and that's what they had to do but now we finally have a vest to come on its own it reminds me of like a fishing vest though it's not a heavy tactical one as that it did come with the rtg one this is once again more of a spring summer type vest hence they're dropping it spring summer 2020 um resale wise there will definitely be profit to be made now what colorway is the hottest from the collection i think it varies per piece it also varies who you are as a person now if you're getting the pink camo colorway it's flamboyant it's bright you're gonna look like a snowflake quote quote unquote shout out your hype connect he told me he was like people are gonna look like snowflakes it's kind of true not going to lie uh tan colorway also kind of does hit once again um but not the pants i'm not the fan of the pants which actually we can get into right now we have the Supreme North Face belted cargo pants that actually turn into shorts at the same exact time. Once again, it reminds me of like seventh grade, eighth grade when I used to when I, when I used to go out to recess and have the pants on in the morning and get, get cold up in New Jersey, get to recess, unzip my sh pants and they turn into shorts, and you know I'm chilling the rest of the day. I just love it. I I really do like this clap. Finally, like they really I think they hit it on point for this one. Three different colorways, a black, multi-camo pink, and a tan. Supreme branding going down the actual pant leg. And we have Supreme patches on the actual cargo pocket pants. Branding, once again, they did exceptional. They know what people want to see. They know people are suckers for the branding. And that's exactly what they executed on flu flawlessly, flawlessly. Now, the one thing I do got to say, the quality on these pants is not looking too good. Typically, when you do have those zip-up pants, the zip-up along the knees, it results in having to be thin because like you don't want thick ass shorts you don't buy shorts to be thick you typically buy shorts to be somewhat thin and if they have a lot of pockets in them they look like they're hiking pants at the same time until the hiking pants are not thick at all because you don't want to be sweating in the gooch you know in the gooch you don't want to be sweating in that area that much too often you know if you're a guy at least if you're a girl or if you're a guy you like it you like it but um i personally hate that you know so i don't like to sweat up in that area i think that's what this sh pant is made to prevent um, but once again, quality is not looking to be amazing. I could see retail being around 168, 178 US dollars. Then we go on to the only jacket dropping this week. For the past few collabs, we have seen Supreme drop multiple jackets for the collaborations with TNF, but this time only one. And you will have enough pockets for the whole entire week. You could go throughout a whole entire work week shoving shit in your pockets papers napkins dried up hot dogs whatever you want to do and you're still gonna have more room at the end of the day to put more shit in your pockets there is four pockets on the bottom two in the center and then one at the top then you have supreme north face on the other side of this one uh now black i'm gonna say black is a color that we see too often of I, i'm kind of getting bored of it to be honest i typically gravitate towards black because it's simple Except this time you have a lot better options than to just go for black. Uh, the pink colorway, I want to say, is the second on my list. And then at the top is the khaki color for the jacket. For the pants, I really do like the pink camo ones. But remember, please try to match the best you can. It's going to be tough, in my opinion, to really match this shoe. I mean, this colorway with a lot. 
But you can tell when you're walking down the street, it's not no normal TNF. Like khaki tan and black kind of look regular, shregular. You have that pink camo, no one's ever seen that before. I mean, people have seen it because, you know, Supreme takes their inspirations from elsewhere, but people don't ever see that really too often. Uh, you do also have Supreme burning on the back of the actual jacket, and the jacket also does seem to be regular quality. Now, the jacket that did drop like this before it did retail for $398, if I'm not, or no, it was like $498, if I'm not mistaken. Unfortunately, I could see retail on this being around $598 just because there's extra pockets in it. They're going to upcharge on that. Uh, different colorways, they might upcharge on that because it does take more money to actually print in different colors like this, like the pink camel one, for example. And they're obviously going to have the same retail price for all three colorways. Now, once again, retails is not confirmed. You have Supreme embroidered on the bill of the actual hood. And yeah. Oh, how can I forget? The best piece from the collaboration is Supreme North Face One World T-shirt dropping in a black and white colorway. We have a red box logo on it along with the North Face logo. And it has a beautifully graphic of the world. Now, actually with this T-shirt, all profits will be donated to COVID relief. Once again, if I'm not mistaken, they did it with the COVID box logo. They did. I like, I'm really respecting Supreme. I think they have to gain a lot more respect from a lot of people. They sometimes get hate for being repetitive or taking inspiration from other brands and not being original. But I really got to say, Supreme, wonderful. I love to see them doing charity work like that because it, it does definitely put up a good uh, memo in the community. Uh, but once again, this t-shirt is killer. I think it is simple, exactly how it should be done. Nothing too complex. And I think they executed once again on this collection flawlessly. Except the quality, I'm skeptical on the sh on the pants. Jacket, I'm going to say is a cop. The pants are maybe a cop. The vest is a cop for me. The actual hat is a cop for me. And the tote bag might be a cop for me. But, you know, we're going to see how this week's goes. Well, this week goes. That's it for me on my take on this TNF collaboration. Hyped for it. Jacket is number one. Vest is number two. Pants are number three. Bill cap is number four. Number five is the tote bag, and number six is the keychain if you're at it like that. Uh, so that's it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you stay tuned tomorrow for the full retail resale prices drop list. We might upload two videos tomorrow as well to catch up on a few things. So thank you guys so much for watching. Catch you guys then. Peace.